miss you too. But I'm on my way home, so I'll call you when I get inside. Okay, love you too. Ooh, love you too. You know. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Hello, Jay. So, 
I mean, all I can say now is that I can make better actions going forward and, um, you know, grow more familiar in how to prevent from an STD and start, you know, wearing condoms, taking birth control regularly. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the first step, I think that if you're not ready to have that conversation or don't feel comfortable, maybe you shouldn't be having sex. But since you've already done that, I think it's best that you and him get tested. And even if he's not willing to do it, then he know, you know now he doesn't respect you. Because mm -hmm. any guy that respects you will be willing to do this for your health and his health as well. So, you're right. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Hey, did you see this thing on Instagram? No. Like, it's this video that's been going viral. I'm finna send it to you. Okay? Yes, and that's right. <laughs> Although this is a dramatization, this is a reality for about 1 million people in the U.S. each year. The U.S. has the highest rate of STD infections in the industrialized world. Each year, some of the top STIs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, and trichomoniasis, are diagnosed, and the most common STI for women is HPV. In 2015, when 290 women were diagnosed with HPV, which can lead to cervical cancer or death. There are three different types of STDs, and they are viral, which are known as HIV or AIDS, hepatitis, herpes, and the bacterial, which are syphilis, chlamydia, and gonorrhea, and protozoan, which is trichomoniasis, which can be treated, but they cannot be cured. So, um, I was thinking that maybe we could plan a trip to the clinic to uh, both go get STD and STI tests, because I feel like since we're engaging in sexual activity, then it's like... It's, it's, it'll be good for us to at least try and protect ourselves and know if, you know, we have anything and how to move on from there. Um, uh, so, I would love to continue this conversation, but my roommate is blowing up my phone right now. So, I'll call you later and then we can, you know, um, talk about this later. Each year, one quarter of the estimated 12 million new cases of STDs other than HIV occur among teenagers and young adults. It is recorded that adolescents 15 and 19 years old have some of the highest reported rates of gonorrhea and chlamydia among sexually active people. 46% of American high school students have had sexual intercourse and potentially are at risk for HIV infection and other STDs like gonorrhea, for example, which in 2012 were increasingly high among adolescents and young adults. So I just um, I just got off the phone with my roommate and she just sent me a whole lot of stuff about, you know, statistics about STDs and STIs. And I think it's really, really important that we go get tested, especially because most of the HIV statistics were among adolescents and, um, yeah, teenagers, people that are in our age group. Um, well, what do you mean you don't want to go get tested? Well, um, you know, I still think that it's very important. And, you know, I can't make you do anything that you don't want to do. But I think that um, since this is so important to me that I can't just overlook it and um, if you're not ready to go get tested, if you don't want to go get tested, then I think we should just end this right here because I can't put myself in any more danger than I already have. 